Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my lab. Today I'm going to talk to you about the most commonly asked question on my YouTube channel is what's with the errors on the S150 charger? Well guys, before we get too much further, and as always, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you very much for stopping in and taking a look at another one of my videos. And if this does benefit you in any way, do please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription. That would really help me out. All right, what's on the table here is our charger and of course our battery pack and this little LiPo checker right here, which I'll get to in a few moments. Normal functionality of this charger is, is that when you press the button, it will navigate the charge rates. When you long press the button, it will navigate to the different types of battery packs. When you plug your battery pack into the charger, you plug in both the balance lead and the main power connector, you double press the button and the charger will begin to charge your battery pack. Now when you have an error in the battery, um, the the charger itself may give you different uh, tones and different uh, flashing in order to indicate those errors. So for example, I've unplugged the balance lead here. When I double press the button, you will we'll get an error. Now that error is indicating simply that there's no balance lead connected. It could also give you the same error if you connected the balance lead but did not connect the main power lead. Now there may be internal damage within the battery pack itself and your balance leads may not be connected internally. Now when you have that error, that's where you're gonna use this little balance checker here so that you can plug your battery pack in and it will read the individual cell voltages here. So you can see this battery is actually at the appropriate storage level for that uh, battery. So we can store this away for a long period of time. Now the next error that we'll get on this charger here is if there is a battery connected and we double press the button and it just navigates to the different types of uh, charge rates. So uh, for example, double press and it's just navigating the light here down the, the different charge rates. Now if you're getting this error on the charger when there is a battery connected, that's going to mean that your battery voltage is too low within the battery pack itself. Now, if you have something like a nickel metal hydride battery, you can use a standard wall wart charger just to bump up the voltage a little bit and the charger will begin to recognize that battery pack. Now, if you have a LiPo battery, I wouldn't recommend trying to bump up the voltage on those batteries. You'll end up with something flammable, catching your house on fire. It's all bad news. In a case where you do have a damaged LiPo, you really want to replace that battery. It's just not worth it for the fire that you'll get. Now you can use this LiPo checker to check your LiPo batteries for these low voltage errors. So in the example of this battery pack here, this battery pack is showing error on all three cells. Now if you have a LiPo battery pack that is only one cell that's showing error, that's something that may be covered under a warranty, so you'd want to get in touch with the manufacturer. And a tip for you when you're dealing with manufacturers on anything warranty related, Provide as much information as you can when it comes to what the charger is doing, which battery voltages are, pictures of your uh, cell voltages with your cell checker. The more detailed you are, the more quickly that they'll be able to help you and the more impressed that they'll be that you have done some diagnostic by yourself. And that will always lead to more successful dealings with manufacturers on warranties. Now, before we wrap up, I just wanted to give you some more tips and tricks on battery maintenance to try and help uh, eliminate these potential issues that you have with overdraining your LiPo batteries. So your first one is always unplug your battery pack when you're not using it. That's gonna come from using either the charger or your vehicle. Uh, if you leave your battery plugged in, there's always capacitors somewhere that are gonna be charged up by that battery. And those capacitors will drain out your battery as it sits. The other thing is uh, leave your batteries at proper storage levels. So 3.7 or 3.8 volts in each cell is going to be your uh, storage level on your battery packs. It's simple math, just multiply the number of cells by 3.8 volts and that'll give you your proper storage levels. Another tip for you on storage voltages is, is that uh, your LiPo battery rating, if you have 11.1 volt or you have a 7.4 volt, that's gonna be your storage level voltage. So you can simply put your batteries at that level now this F S150 charger does not offer uh, storage mode features within the charger itself, but a simple voltmeter can help you with that. And I would always recommend to charge your battery up a little bit and go play with your vehicle. Use your volt voltage meter in order to determine what that voltage level is before you put it away. 
whenever you are um, charging your battery pack, it's always gonna take longer than if you were gonna be discharging your battery pack if you're running it in a vehicle. So it'll save you some time and you'll have a little fun with your car. Well, anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this video and I hope that you have benefited from it in some way. And if you do, uh, or have benefited rather, do please consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscription. Also, don't forget to hit that bell if you wanna see my future content. Well, I'll wrap it up for this one and I hope to see you in the next one.